How you doing? This is Sam Tolley with In Him First. We review the world through the lens of Jesus Christ. We do not view Jesus Christ through the lens of the world. If people can really take time and think about what I just said, it will make a world of difference in your worldview. Because if your daily walk, if your everything is viewed through the lens of our Lord and Savior to those of us who call Christ our Savior, then it will dictate how we function in society, in our public, in our private, in everything. It, you know, life. It will really make a difference. Um, but what I want to talk about is black Christian cognitive dissidents. I'll try to unpack that in a minute. But this video, besides Facebook, YouTube, whatever, along with all my other videos, thoughts, opinions, reflections, you can find on my website, inhimfirst.com. You know, so if you ever want to see what I think about all the time, or what I've thought about through the ages, everything is there. But let's talk about black Christian cognitive dissidence. Now, cognitive dissidence is a term this psychologist named Leon Festinger came up with. And basically what he's talking about is trying to find a way uh, to dissidence something that is wrong with your worldview. And let me see if I can break it down like this. In other words, you have a set uh, of values that you adhere to, that you want to live by. But then there's something else that you adhere to and live by that is contradictory to your set of values. So you got your values over here and you got the contradiction over here and you don't let the two uh, implode on you, which they should. Everything should mesh together. And when I say black Christian cognitive dissidents, I'm talking about the fact that most black Christians are very conservative-minded people. That they believe what the Bible says. That they believe what Jesus said. That they believe that the unborn are human beings. That they believe that man was created in the image of God and man should be a man. And women should be women. That they should dress like men. They should dress like women. That they should have those different roles as established biblically. The dissidence comes out when the fact that many black Christians have joined the Democratic Party. And the Democratic Party, by their own words, not mine, their own words, are fundamentally for abortion. That they're fundamentally for the LBGQ, whatever other letter you want to put to it. Way of life. As our prior president Obama said, we're going to fundamentally change America. Well, that was one thing that he said that was true. Because he actually did fundamentally change America. He opened up homosexual marriage, uh, I believe it was in 2015. Prior to that, in the whole history of the United States, marriage was only between, <coughs> excuse me, one man and one woman. Marriage has always been an institution throughout society of the 6,000 plus years of mankind was between men and women. Now we have this thing that's engulfing the whole globe where men can marry men and women can marry women. And this stuff is supposed to be acceptable. Biblically, it's not. So you got these Christians, these black Christians, that line up, or they want to line up with the Bible, but then they line up with this party. And this party is antithetical to the Bible. There's your cognitive dissidence. And they make different kinds of excuses like, well, you know, it's just sin, and, and everybody's going to be judged at the time, and, and I'm not for homosexuality, I'm not for abortion, I'm not for all that stuff. But you vote for people that are. 
And as long as you continue to vote for people that are, those people are going to fight tooth and nail to make sure those unbiblical, satanically inspired doctrines of life continue. So, if the Bible says we're supposed to be light and salt, how can you be light and salt and instead of steadily shoveling dirt on it? You know, if Jesus said to, uh, to go into the whole world and teach everybody what he said, how can you do that on one hand and then support people that are stepping on Jesus on the other? How can he be your Lord when you're giving all the glory to these people that are against him? How does that work? The only way it works is you separate it in your mind. You don't, you, when you're here in the church, it's praise God, glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. When you hear, oh, the Democratic Party loves black people. The Democratic, the Republicans are racist. So then you're over here. And many of you never take the time to look at the history. Many of you never take the time to get past the news medias that are feeding you steady propaganda. Many of you never take the time to do your own research. Now, the Bible says for us to be as wise as serpents and gentle um, as doves, I believe. But the fact of it is, is you're not wise if you're not finding out what's going on. I mean, black people make up like 13% of the population. So that means black women are 7 to 8% of the population. Yet account for about 35% of the abortions. I mean, Margaret Sanger, this woman who called black people human weeds, is one of the founders of Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood is the largest killer of the black unborn there are in America. I mean, the mayor of New York City re or recently signed the bill. Was it New York City or the state? I think it's the state of New York. Excuse me, not the mayor, but the governor of New York, sound, sign a bill where you can kill a baby up until the moment of birth. Everybody knows that's murder. I mean, if they had the technology then, they'd have killed, tried to kill Jesus the same way, but of course Herod was kind of late, so they wanted to kill all the two years and under babies. The Bible says in Psalms, that in Psalms 139, I believe it is, that God knitted us together in the womb. If, not, if God knitted us together in the womb, then we are God's creation. If we are God's creation, who are we to endorse the destruction of that? And at the same time, support people that want to do it. Black Christian cognitive dissidents. Now, we have a president right now that the mass media... The liberal press, the Democratic Party, everybody is saying is a stone-cold, racist, evil man. But they're playing you for idiots. Because this is the same person that was on TV for 11 years with a highly rated show. And all the black folks, all the hip-hop artists, all these stars, all these people loved him before he decided to run for president. So, if he was a, if he is such a massive racist what happened before? He wasn't a racist then? So that begs a question. Either the Democratic Party and the mass media were lying to us before about Donald J. Trump, or they're lying to us now. I say they're lying to us now. Because he went against them. He went against everything they stand for. Anyone that goes against the narrative that they stand for has to be destroyed. Think about it. Go back and look. Were you one of the ones who used to watch his show? Why would you watch the show of this massive racist if he was all that? The man that brought in the First Step program that helped release a lot of black folks from prison. The, the man whose policies has reduced unemployment to the lowest in history than black unemployment is the lowest. And I've heard some strange person who in older times we would call the house negro because the house negro was designed to keep the field negroes in order say on the radio or say on tv that oh yeah we're making a black people are making a lot of money under donald trump but they're selling their soul to do it they're they're, they're giving up their civil rights that is nonsense 
So in other words, we'd be better off on food stamps at home listening to the Democratic Party telling us how much they love us instead of out there working, taking care of our families. Wake up, people. Use your God-given common sense and start following the Bible. And by the way, if you're a Christian, you're supposed to have faith in God. And if you have faith in God, do what he said. If you have faith in God, line up with who's ever lining up with his policies the most. If this man, Donald J. Trump, and the Republican Party, for the most part, are trying to keep the unborn alive, but the Democratic Party and the mainstream media and all these so-called celebrities want to kill the unborn, line up with the folks who's trying to keep the babies alive. It's simple. It doesn't take to be a brain scientist to figure that one out. If these folks over here in the Democratic Party and the mainstream media want to put men in drag and, and tell boys they can be girls and that men can have periods, You don't want to listen to that nonsense. You don't want your children to listen to that nonsense. Get away from it. It's time for men to be men. It's time for women to be women. It's time for Christians to really be Christians. And it's time for black Christians to get away from this cognizant dissidence. Start embracing the word of God for what it is. And get away from the nonsense. This is Sam Tolley with InHimFirst.com. Like I said, we view the world through the lens of Jesus Christ. We don't view Jesus Christ through the lens of the world. God bless you, and I'm out.